Hello everyone, it's Marnie, so hopefully my camera will focus. Um, today you won't be seeing me in this, not so much of an unboxing because I've already opened it as you can see. Um, but I guess in a way it is an unboxing. I'm not sure what you'd call it. But um, anyway, so today I'll be doing the Sparks and Sparrows Mass Mania candle box. Um, because everything's open so that I can record and all that with, I'll show you the first thing, which will be a little sticker on the orange paper from a candle, which says, she was the heir of ash fire and she will bow to no one. Which, I like collecting these stickers and having them around, so I can use them in like my scrapbook. And in that one, the candle I got was Karanum. Karanum? Oh, sorry. Um, I haven't read all the Throne of Glass books. I've read the first two. So I've read Assassin's Blade and Throne of Glass. So this candle is an orange with blue glitter. And it smells really, really nice. It's a... Blackberry, apple and orange zest. It smells like a mango sort of smelly. Smelly. Smell. Um, but I can't get it to glitter. The blue is really shiny. It's just not showing up on my camera. I'm recording in my kitchen because if you can hear in the background there's music playing so my partner is listening to music. Right. Oh yeah, and in the box it came with a sticker that says Rattle the Stars. As you can guess, being Mass in the way it's spelled, Mass is Sarah J. Mass. Alright. So the next bit of paper is blue, which my daughter will be happy about because she's nicking all my blue paper at the moment because it's her favourite colour. And it says on the sticker, don't feel bad for one moment about doing what brings you joy. I need this sticker. I need to remember it all the time. I get discouraged from doing a lot of things. So the candle that came with that is Court of Dreams and it's Sea Breeze, Apple and Berg Bergamot. Now, let's see if I can open it. And it's like really colourful. It smells so nice. I love the smell of this one. This is like my favourite smell so far. If I can get that. So it's gold, pink, and blue that's in it. But it's really, really, really amazing. Alright, so the next thing is from Trim and Thread, which is a scrunchie. So it's the Rainbow of Valaris. So Valaris is in um, Court of Thorns and Roses series. I have read all them. I did enjoy them. My favourite characters were Cassian and Azriel. Okay, so the next thing is High Fae Lip Balm. Let's see if I can... It's really light coloured, so it's not... There we go. And this one is a strawberry lip balm. So, my child's allergic to strawberries, so oops. I'm sorry I dropped it. Um, I'll pick it up in a minute. Um, but as I was saying, my daughter's allergic to strawberries, so I'll just have to be careful when wearing that, because I really like the smell of it. The next thing is a pen, which says, To the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. It's pretty. I like moons and stars and stuff. Okay, the next thing is the Court of Terrison. This is a vinyl sticker by Read and Wonder. I've actually been looking at Read and Wonder's site and thinking about getting some of their products, but I wasn't sure. So I'm actually kind of happy. I'll see how this goes. I might end up putting it on my laptop or on my um, drawer. Now. 
So the other thing you get is candle care, which you know about burning them, first burn, and how to maintain and look after all your candles. The spoiler card, which is a print that says, from now on until the darkness claims us, which is pretty awesome. And then, oh, that's something I missed. There is a High Lady of the Night Court Jasmine Natural Sugar Scrub, which smells amazing. I've never used sugar scrubs before. I have a coffee scrub and haven't used it yet. Still trying to work out how I'm meant to use it. I know that sounds really, really odd, but I am because I've never used them before. I don't know if you're meant to put them on a loofah or how it works. Okay, and then you got a little thank you card. It gives you 10% off. And a little message from Maddie on the back. And then there was a bonus gift in this like there was in one of the magic ones if I can open this one handed I'm trying to hold my camera on my tripod because I lost my little bolt okay so this is um, the inner circle French Earl Grey tea blend comes in like a little cute canister and I'm going to have to look on my camera for a minute stay thank you that didn't go down too far. Cool. Ah, that's right, it's a screw. And that has that little flowers. I think it's rose petals. Hang on. Um, Earl Grey tea, hibiscus, rose petals, mellow, and corn flowers. And it smells absolutely amazing. I look forward to trying it. I've been trying teas and other stuff now because I'm not drinking as much coffee. And I like loose teas because the glue on tea bags makes my throat swell. And back to the lip balm. So as I was showing, this is just a plain colour. It doesn't have colourings on it. This don't wreck it. Lip balm is made from coconut oil, candelion wax, olive oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, vitamin E and flavour. So it's pretty cool but like I said I've got to keep it away from my child. And then the last thing is how to make up my tea. Which is good because I've never had this tea before and how to make it up. I would have probably googled it but it's awesome. So the tea is from... who made the tea? I'm pretty sure it was on here. Uh, the tea booth made the tea. And that is the Massmania um, candle box from Sparks and Sparrows. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next recording. Bye.